Are you looking for raptured erotic aneurysm signs and symptoms? You are a delight to have. You're going to see what medical practitioners and researchers say. What's up guys, Garson here, your healthy former. Today we are going to dig deep into this subject. Without a further ado, here we go. This is the plan for our video. Since everything happens in the e-water, then we are going to define what is e water and then we see aneurysm and its causes. We compare the section versus ruptured aneurysms, and then we have this ruptured aortic aneurysm symptoms and signs. So, if you are new at this YouTube channel, consider subscribing and turn on the little notification bell and it turns gray. Here we dive into the material. We have the definitions here first of all. The aorta is the largest blood vessel in the body that carries blood from your heart to the body. So here is this tube here. We call it the aorta. It carries blood from the heart to the rest of the body by distributing this heart, this blood into other small arteries, arteries, okay? This is this tube here, we call it a water. Then, what is aneurysm? Because when we talk about ruptured aortic aneurysm, we have these two components. We have a water, and the adjective is aortic, and then we have this aneurysm. Aneurysm simply is the duration in the wall of an artery supplying blood to a specific area. As you see here, we have this duration here. So this aorta derays, right? It turns into a balloon-like, right? A sort of enlargement of the aorta. It swells in a way or in the other. So as you see, it can square at the level of the chest here in the chest region. So sometimes any uh, aneurysm happening in the chest region, uh, region is going to be called thoracic aortic aneurysm. If it happens in the region of the abdominal, of the abdominal legion here is going to be termed a warwick here aneurysm happening in the abdomen then it is called abnormal aortic aneurysm i think to this level you understand stay with me i have plenty of information to give here so look at the causes here we have different causes but these are recurrent according to papers research papers and the findings that are uh, that are just from the medical research carried out in this matter so we have this atherosclerosis which is a condition in which the arteries get hardened this may cause an aneurysm we can have also uh, it's this kind of uh, biscuspid uh, aortic valve, when someone is born with only one instead of three, this later may cause aneurysm. And we have uh, old age, of course not any old age, but we have deaths happening when someone, uh, some people are age 65 uh, up to 75, especially if these people have had a history of unhealthy behavior like smoking and heavy drinking. If someone has been a chain smoker or a drunkard or been just drinking heavy, this may be causing later some sort of aneurysm. So we have a family history uh, with this heart disease because look, this is a a hereditary disease, a hereditary condition. If someone has heard, has had a phobia or an ancestor or a parent, grandparent, 
grandmother had had this kind of issue probably some of the descendants may have this kind of problem too connective tissue disorders such as marfan syndrome and inheritors danlos syndrome this also can cause this problem and then untreated infection like syphilis and salmonella so when we have these causes when one cause here may cause this duration and the duration can happen either within the aorta wall layers or outside the aorta wall layers due to one cause here where we can have aneurysm an aneurysm as we can say can be either happening in the the artery this big artery this big artery it can be happening in this within okay it is balanced right but within then we have some layers let me show you what i mean here we have here this is normal flow of the blood from the heart to the rest of the body right so if one of the cause is already present in your body right then there will be for example a lining instead of blood continuing to the rest of the body some of the blood is going to be sucked into these wall layers here not continuing but there's an opening here wall layers and this kind of uh, aneurysm is termed dissection so the section stands for leak of blood in the in between artery wall layers leak of blood okay blood leaking instead of normal flow here right blood then enters a tear in the lining of the aorta we have a tear here this then is dissection so we may have what we call rupture Rapture is when bright, this this uh, this tube here, this vessel bursts. Okay, it breaks and then blood bleeds inside the body. It soaks into organs and the tissues surrounding the artery here. And then this is rare, but it's so fatal. It's so deadly that when it happens, in most cases, most patients pass away. So, as you see, we have these types of aortic aneurysm. One is dissection, another is rupture. This often happens, right? But this is rare. But when this ruptured aortic aneurysm happens, it's so bad. Here are the signs. Science, according to papers I have read and the scientific findings, are classified into before rapture or dissection or as rapture or dissection occurs. Before there is rapture, but when there is already a deretation, when there is already a aneurysm that is likely to burst out or to be broken or to be to have blood rush either within or out the artery we have a tenderness or pain in the chest this is before we have a cough or hoarseness shortness of breath pain in the back jaw or neck but when then rapture or dissection occur at the phase where this tear is already there and that blood, blood is just spilling within which is dissection or it bursts and there is breathing inside the body which is rapture when this is happening someone suddenly have has this sharp and sudden pain in the upper back that radiates downward we have bandage your neck, shoulder, and arms. We may also have uh, difficulty in breathing. Here are the two treatments of either 
what we call a warwick aneurysm in general when we say a warwick aneurysm it can be either thoracic a warwick aneurysm or abdominal uh, abdominal sorry a warwick aneurysm or if you want to mean if you want to mean that this is ruptured or dissection right you can also say a ruptured aortic aneurysm so we have this set of terminology that can be confusing but all of them because they take place in the aorta then they are called aortic aneurysm aortic with with related to the aorta but when we put the region where this occurs in the chest on the abdomen is where we can either have a thoracic aneurysm or we can have abdominal abdominal aneurysm right so it's there it depends upon what you are saying but here is the the treatment that can be just uh, yeah can be uh, taken or a doctor can use when in the case of either dissection or either what we call a ruptured aortic aneurysm when there is a prediction that this is going to happen when they can treat somebody a patient through either medicine which lowers blood pressure and it reduces risk for an aortic aneurysm or if there is already something to be repaired right they have to repair it or replace the affected section of the aorta through surgery these are the two ways the two treatments that are likely to be used by medics when they are treating a patient with a warwick aneurysm whether it's dissection whether it's a ruptured aneurysm uh, right whether it happens in the chest which is a thoracic aneurysm whether it happens in the abdomen abdom, abdomen abdominal region then this is abdominal uh, aneurysm we have the treatment we have these two main treatments but we can have some minor according to context according to a patient so guys this is what i've planned for today if you are new consider subscribing as i have already said turn on this little bell notification until it turns gray see you in the next video if you need any video related to aneurysm please check in the description check in on this channel have plenty of them where i explain this like the video comment ask a question we are a community we are here to share experience if you ever you feel that there's something not true in the video suggest something instead of disliking it suggest what we can do or what we should have done thank you see you in the other video